Oh no, did you actually get, did you accidentally got nail polish on your carpet or blanket? Well, I know what to do. So first you'll need a cup with hot water in it. Some soap, any kind, but I'm just using the Dawn soap. And nail polish remover. So, and you'll need a, anything to just scrub into it. But first you'll want to add some hot, I mean, yeah, hot water. And after you'll want to add some Dawn soap. Well, or any kind of soap that you have. So then after you just want to scrub. Then after you just keep on adding hot water. Then after you keep on scrubbing. Then after you want to add some nail polish remover. And scrub. And keep on adding some hot water. And then just keep on doing that on repeat. After a while, you'll need to start scrubbing with your hands. And you'll want to scrub it like this if you're using your hands. After you just scoop up the foam. And after you just put the foam in your other hand. And after you just start adding some hot water and keep on scrubbing. You might not want to use your hands because it's really hot. If it's not working yet, then try to add some more nail polish remover. After you have the nail polish remover, use some more hot water. If you can, then maybe start using a hairbrush. It probably will work better. Go into a circle motion like this. And after, start using your hands again. You might want to get a spoon to, squirt, to start scooping up the foam. Add more hot water and soap. Start scrubbing, then after, add some more nail polish remover. When you add the nail polish remover, add more hot water because you don't want it to be cold. And after, start using the hairbrush again. And start using your hands again. And add more hot water and start to scoop up the foam the foam might start to drip as soon as you scoop it up so put it so get a cup and put it in inside add more nail polish remover then after start using your hands to scrub add more hot water you might want to add a lot of hot water then start scrubbing add more hot water then start scrubbing Brush it out a little and after smooth it down with your hand to see if there's still a big stain. If there is a big stain left or a little stain like mine right here, then you might want to keep on doing it. If there's not, then start scooping it up with the spoon. When you start scooping it up with the spoon, make sure to have a cup nearby it so that way all the foam can go in there. All of it might not come out, but it will just dry by itself. So then start brushing it with the hairbrush. And if there's just a little stain like mine, I'd start brushing it out and you shouldn't be able to see it really much. And wait for it to dry. But before you wait for it to dry, you might want to dry it off with the towel. When you start drying it off with a towel, you might want to do it like this. Either dab it, or either start dabbing it like this. But when you start drying it off, it might not dry fully off, but it might start to look normal like how it was before. And after you just have to wait for it to dry. And that's really all of it. You can't fix and there's no more stain. So that's all. I hope this helped. Bye.